What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new CPU cooler from Arctic. It's the Freezer 33 Esports 1. This is a budget friendly solution for those of you guys who are still running a stock cooler. But uh, we're going to see what comes included, what it looks like, and of course how it performs against the stock Wraith Spire cooler on my Ryzen 5 1600. The Freezer 33 is compatible with all modern Intel CPUs and with the AM4 platform as well. Included in the box, you get all that mounting hardware you need, as well as one Arctic Bionics fan. You get the CPU tower itself, a small little packet of thermal compound, and four mounting clips for uh, the one fan that you get included, as well as the addition of a second fan if that's something you decide to purchase later. The Bionics fan included in this kit is one of Arctic's new designs and is one of the key components in this kit. It was built with a fluid dynamic bearing design and is rated as a 120 millimeter fan. The speed rating on these fans is anywhere from 200 to 1800 RPMs with full PWM support. You'll notice the Bionics fans have round rubber grommets pre-installed, but they don't seem to be held in place very well. I feel like it would have been better if maybe they used a rubber collar that slipped through the mounting point or maybe if the red uh, section of the fan here on the corner was actually rubber rather than having a glued on piece of rubber. These fans can also be purchased separately as I mentioned a second ago if you did want to add a second fan to the cooler and they're offered in multiple colors including white, green, red, and yellow. As far as the CPU tower itself, it is an aluminum fin construction with a black paint coating which is supposed to help with thermals. Install of the Arctic 33 was pretty simple. You install two brackets on the bottom side of the cooler. Apply thermal compound in the desired method. I know everybody has one. You set the cooler on top and you gently fasten down the associated mounting screws. Finally, you'll want to plug in the CPU wire. If you notice, it does come with a Y connector in case you did want to add that second CPU fan later on down the road. Now that we have the cooler installed, let's talk about the temperatures that we saw once the cooler was installed. Now, as far as temp testing goes, I ran Prime 95 in each orientation for about 15 minutes to get a somewhat stable temperature. I ran stock clocks and with an overclock on both the Wraith Spire Cooler and the Freezer 33. Uh, as you guys can see from the numbers on the screen, we had a pretty good variation with uh, about 13 degrees with and without an overclock. Um, and of course, with the uh, idle temps, I didn't really see too much variation between the uh, stock cooler and the freezer 33 So one thing that's important when looking at a product is comparing some of the things we'd like to see versus some of the things that we really enjoyed about that product Some of the things that I thought were amiss were the fact that there is no instructions in the box You do get a QR code uh, card which links you to instructions on the site as I mentioned earlier the quality of the rubber grommets on the corners of the fans themselves seem to be kind of a miss I also was not a fan of the exposed CPU at the base of the cooler. Obviously it's kind of hard to say if that was a miss because the temps obviously improved quite a bit going to the Freezer 33 so I'm not sure if that's really a miss but that's just one thing that I thought maybe could be improved. Maybe if we had more coverage there might be a little bit better performance or you know maybe it would be roughly the same. As far as the things I really did enjoy about the Freezer 33 is the aesthetics first off. I love the design that they went with on the fans. I like the fact that the fins on the cooler itself are black and they're not silver like a lot of other budget and actually even premium coolers are. We see a lot of that chrome design and sometimes it ends up sticking out in a build more than it does, uh, you know, anything else. I also like the Arctic provided multiple color options. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of black and red. Uh, maybe you want to go with something more monochromatic like uh, black and white or you know Maybe you want to get crazy with one of the other colors But I thought that was nice that they at least provided a couple options for us out there One of the other big wins here also of course is going to be the price this CPU cooler is priced in right at $39 US in fact at the time I'm making this video. It's priced in at $29. It's on sale 
and uh, it has been for the past couple of weeks so if this is something you're looking to buy obviously you'll probably want to jump on it sooner than later but i'll go ahead and leave links to everything in the description below if you guys want to check it out a little bit further although it has a lengthy name i think the arctic freezer 33 esports one cpu cooler is going to be a great choice for those of you guys who are looking to do a budget build or if you maybe already have a build in place and you're using your stock cooler and it's just not doing it and you want to maybe push it a little bit further, I think this is going to be a good choice for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this cooler in the comment section below. Is this something you guys would consider in your next build or would you go for something else? And if so, what would you guys go for? Um, obviously AIOs are kind of on a different level, but if you guys have another air cooler that you think would be a better choice, you know, keeping in mind performance per dollar. Let me know what, what those are in the comment section below. Of course, thanks again to Arctic for sending this cooler out to me to share with you guys. It's always nice when I'm able to add new hardware to the channel. Um, so thanks again to those guys for sending it out. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the way out. And of course, if you guys want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. I'll see you in the next video.